What's up, squad? We back at him again, man, when they thought it was finna end. Thank y'all for riding with me. Well, you know you've ever lot in with your boy stories with V. At this time, family, you already know what I need y'all to do for me. Like, share, comment, smash that subscribe button, y'all. Why? Come on now. We on that road to 100K. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Thank you for being here. It's an honor and a pleasure. So listen, sit back, relax. You can take a seat on the bed or cop a squad on the toilet seat. I got the rest of the show from here. To that one and only V, squad. They know the motto, man. Listen. It ain't no squad like our squad because they don't mob how we mob. So with that man said, we're going to continue to push, mob, put them numbers up, and dominate 2024. It's our year. If you would like to support the channel through Cash App, boom, it's listed right there. If not, please join the membership, man. Exclusive content over there. You definitely want to get involved. If you would like to come on the show and tell your story or have a story told through V, jump in that comment section right now or DM me on one of my platforms, man. We would love to have you on. Without further ado, Mob, y'all know what time it is. Let's jump into them V Mob. Shout out to the day. Number one on the V Mob list, man. Salute to the good man, Dirk with the Do family. Number two on that V Mob list, man. Salute to Scarlet. Salute family. Number three on that V Mob list, man. Salute to Josiah Chanel with the Do family. Number four on that V-Mob list, man. Salute to Gamer 99 with a do family. Number five on that V-Mob list, man. Salute to Shaquita M with a do family. And number six on that V-Mob list, man. Salute to Tanisha Prince. Salute family. And welcome to the family, y'all, because that's exactly what we all here. A family where we come together each and every day, tell an entertaining story, laugh, chill, vibe, take our minds away from whatever we got going on at the time, and try to prevent one person from ever spending one night inside that cell. So without further ado, Mob, y'all know what time it is, man. Let's jump into it. Tuesday, part three. So as she's sitting right there, whole wave of emotions, everything going crazy right now. She got the dude sitting in the bed laid up after what they done went through last night. Phone going off, his dad on the phone, and she already knows she ain't been doing what she's supposed to be doing. And she still got a massive hangover and a headache from drinking last night. Boom. So she hurries up, grab the phone. She swipe it. Boom. Hello? Dad say, Tuesday, what is you doing? She say, nothing, Dad. I'm getting myself together now. Granted, mom and dad that's back home, they still already got a copy of her schedule. So they know she's supposed to be the class within the next 30 minutes. And they know they know their daughter. So they like, man, you still sound like you in bed or you ain't even got yourself together. So dad says, Tuesday, what is you out there doing? She say, nothing, dad. I'm just getting myself together. He say, why I sound like you still in bed and you supposed to be in class within the next 30 minutes? She say, dad, I'm getting it together now. Now, Papa already a little mad and on edge because he like, why you ain't answer the phone all last night when I was calling you? Listen, we just spent too much money. We didn't invest too much time in your life, in your career, and in your future for you to wait till you get all the way to college and want to play these games. We not doing that Tuesday. Tighten up. She says, yes, sir. Hangs up the phone after, of course, saying I love you. Now, when she turned around, because when she answered the phone, she shot and rushed to the bathroom so the dude don't wake up and say nothing crazy. Now, as she's coming back out the bathroom, he just waking up. He turns over, tell her good morning. She said, good morning. We got to hurry up and go. Now, he hurry up, jump up, throwing his clothes on. But as he ready to leave out the door, he goes in his stingy pocket in his jeans. He whip out a little clear bag. Now, when he do that, he dumps some pills out on the table. He got three Perk 30s, and then he got two OP 80s. Now, the Perk 30s is just a regular kicker. Now, them OPs, that's a different ball game for real. Now, he playing with the big boy joints. So, she's sitting right there looking like, what is you doing? He say, man, I'm ready to get my morning started. So, boom, he grabs like a little can out the dresser. He begin to start crushing the pills. After he do that, he go inside his other pocket. He got a half of a straw cut. This is what he's going to use to actually sniff the perps. Boom, he get right there. <clears throat> he sniff now. She Tuesday is sitting right there looking like, what the heck? Because like I told you, all this is going to her. Granted, she done smoked a little grass and she done took a couple shots of liquor. But this right here, this a whole nother ball game. So, she like, all right, come on, hurry up. Get that off my desk because I got to go. Now, after he done sniffed toward the 30s for real, he throws back an OP80. So now he got 60 milligrams in him plus another 80 in him. He say, all right, he runs over there, give her a hug and a kiss. He shoots out. Now, Tuesday, just sitting right there like, man, what am I involved in? One, I'm not even I'm not even doing what I'm supposed to be doing in school. I'm running around getting high every day. I just had a one night stand with a dude that's running around sniffing perks. Hold on. I got to tighten up. She gets herself together. She shoots out the door. Now she hit the class. She arrived to class. She goes through the rest of the day. No problem. Now, when classes is over, like I told you, the regular routine is, her getting done with class, they might shoot to the cafeteria, grab some food. Then she meeting up with the gang and they going back to Teddy room and they just getting high all day. Now, today when they do this situation, they go back to Teddy dorm. They all in there chilling. So Tuesday, the thought of what the dude did in her room is eating her alive. So she like, man, something crazy happened to me today, y'all. So they like, man, what's going on Tuesday? Talk to us. 
she tells them, man, you know, the dude I end up hooking up with last night. Because now, by this time, she already part of the game. So she not holding nothing back. And she talking to him like they part of the family. So they like, oh, my God, okay, you got on last night, huh? She said, yeah, girl, but he wasn't nothing. He was a clown. But when we, when we woke up this morning, for real, he goes over to the table and he was sniffing some type of pills. All of them bust out laughing. So Tuesday looking like, man, what's funny? They say, man, you don't know what's going on. Hey, buddy, too. Now she like, what is toot? Toot means they are sniffing the whatever products that they sniffing. So she like, oh man, that's another ball game. I don't really mess around with that. As she say that, Teddy say, what you judging? He goes over to his little drawer, uh, slides the drawer open. He going there and he got a little plastic bag, but it's not fit with no pills. It's full of a white substance. He dumps it on the table. He also has a cut in half straw that he grabs out the drawer. Boom, he do a line right there. So now when Teddy turned around Tuesday, just looking like, boy, what did you just do? He say, man, listen, this ain't them pills. That's a little boy gang right here. This the big dogs, this straight C. So she like, what's that? Teddy begins to tell her that a straight coat, per. So now Tuesday looking like, what? Now this, hold on, hold on, y'all. We, we taking this a little bit too far now. It was all funny games when we was hitting out the bong. We was playing a little beer ping pong. I'm taking shots of liquor, maybe a blunt now and then. But now it's starting to become too much. But she already in too deep because she already a part of the crew. So now, as the weeks continue for real, she's slowly but surely starting to gain her a vicious habit. So now she didn't got the dude on spin mode, man. She ain't been really talking to the dude that she had the one night stand with since that night because she looking at him funny. But she's starting to have second thoughts because she like, I mean, how can I really judge him? And I'm hanging with a dude that do worse than him. And she really liked the dude. Now, granted, she called him a clown the first time because she looking like, I mean, I've really never been around nobody that's doing Things of that nature. Now, granted, she got a curious mind and a crazy personality. Sometimes that's a good thing. Sometimes that can be an ultra violent thing or ultra bad thing. So now, whenever we go by the little dude that she had the one night stand with, catches her one day leaving out of class. He say, God damn, strange, what you ain't gonna never text me back or call? She say, I'm sorry, I just been trying to catch up on my grades. My parents been on my back. He say, all right, I mean, that's cool and all, but I would love to take you out for lunch. You busy, what you got going on? I mean, I know you probably ready to go to the cafeteria. I've been watching you for the past week, not answer my calls. They both get a little giggle and laugh because, like I told you, she really liked the dude. She just don't like the things that he into. Granted, he really like her, and he hoping that she not judging him of the things that he into. She says, yeah, it gives in. They shoot to a little restaurant. Now, after the restaurant, he putting a one-two on her, macking and attacking her. They shoot back to the dorm. Y'all know what they do. Now, when they get done, like I tell you, this is his ritual. This is how he gets out the gate. And this is how, when you when you on drugs, man, no matter what you do, you will always need that drug. Meaning, if you smoke, before you eat, you will want to smoke. After you eat, you will want to smoke. And it's the same type pattern when you're dealing with other drugs of that sort. So whatever drugs you're doing, you won't want to do that drug before you do anything. Before When you first wake up, before you go to sleep sleep before you eat after you eat before you go outside when you get back from outside you always want to find yourself a reason to reward yourself for doing something i don't care if it's man i took the trash out i need to pop one this is the way that the beast start to take over you so now after they get done he jumps up shoots to the table he dump out the pills again grab the straw he go in now this time he's sitting right there no shirt on in his boxes he spin around she's sitting right there laying on the bed nothing but her little one two on he say listen come here join me real quick i mean you judging me you don't even know what it's like so now she's sitting there looking like, what, boy, you crazy? I ain't doing that. He said, come on, try it real quick. I mean, but, but you scared with your little girl, man? This ain't high school no more. This college. Now, granted, message, y'all, what is he doing? He trying to manipulate the mind. He trying to make her feel like, man, you ain't really riding with me. You're a little girl. You scared. You supposed to come from Baltimore. You don't know nothing about this. Come on now. Matter of fact, I'm ready to leave. Granted, she don't want him to leave. She still want to be with him. And she still want his company, whatever the case may be. Y'all read between the lines. So she immediately jumps out the bed as he raised up, putting his pants on. She runs to the dresser. Now, granted, he still got about a little line about this big. She grabs the straw up and she begins to sniff it herself. And she sniff it. He come right down and say, listen, I told you, you judging. You don't even know what it feel like. How you feel? She began to tell him, I ain't got no feeling yet. I mean, I hope I ain't going to be feeling crazy. Is it going to feel like weed? Is it going to feel like liquor? She want to know. She start to anticipate the feeling that has yet to come. He like, man, just relax. They begin to sit on the bed. Do what they do. He gets up. Now, he got to shoot back to class himself. So, after they get done, he jump out and head out. So, now, Tuesday, just sitting right there waiting for whatever to happen to happen. Or is this how I'm going to kick in? Part four coming tomorrow. With that being said, family, let's jump into story number two. Now, y'all, story number two, this was a crazy situation because this is when these dudes try to be down, want to be a part of stuff, and they got no idea what they even signing up for. So, now, we in the joint at this point. We got the little dude. He falls on the compound. He only got one mission in mind. He trying to be a part of a gang. Why? I have no idea. Now, he running around trying to promote to everybody. Like, look, I got a brother, a cousin, and an uncle who already that uptown. But he don't even understand how crazy he making himself look. 
how you got a cousin, an uncle, and a brother uptown who already a part of this game, but yet you not a part of it. Now you come to jail and you trying to make strangers put you down. That don't even make sense. But dudes is running around saying that he a clown. So certain games you can come ask to be a part of, certain games you got to be chosen for. So he already know that he ain't got no choice with the chosen games because everybody already see what type caliber of dude you is. So now he keep trying his hand with the, with the games that you can ask to be in. And even they like, no, nah, we ain't really feeling you, man. Like you be on some two press stuff. Now, granted, he got a celly, his cellmate, laid back, cool dude, thoroughbred. But he already know, like, look, I ain't going to punish the dude or I ain't going to beat him up because I ain't going to get no points for that. He too weak. But I may as go and extort him for that money. Like I told y'all, prison is 99% of mental game. So, boom, he started to concoct this plan in his head. He got some real homeboys who are already in the game. And he know when, if he start hanging around them, the little dude who try and get put on, he going to see that. He going to ask for some help trying to get down with the gang. And that's when he going to put his move down. Look, you got to pay for this. Get me this. Do this. Do that. So, boom, he starts every day. He going in the cell. He just writing up fake paperwork to give to the little dude. So, one day they in there locked in. He tell him, like, look, man, I heard you trying to get down with my peoples, man. What you trying to do? He like, hell yeah, man. I mean, whatever I got to do, I'm with it. So the celly that's trying to finesse him, tell him, look, you're going to have to pay dues, study your paperwork, and you're going to have to put in some work. You know, it ain't no free rides. He like, man, I ain't scared, man. Whatever you need, I'm with it. So now every day he keep telling him, but he is like, what is dues? He like, look, dues is, man, you're going to have to start putting up money every week just because we might be having members that's coming in that don't got no support system. They ain't got no family. They need some food. They need some hygiene, things of that nature. He like, oh, all right, man, I ain't really tripping about that. How much I got to put up? So now the shorty that's trying to finesse him, he just taxing him. I'm talking about just giving him crazy numbers to put up. It might be $75. Granted, if he told him $2, it's not going to no cost. So everything he's telling him, he's getting over on him. So boom, Lord, you giving him money, let's just say for like 30 days straight. Now, one day he like, look, boy, I'm ready to give you your creed. The creed is this is what you're going to say when you meet uh, another gang member. This is how you introduce yourself so they know you really know what's going on. You really down. But he like, look, man, you're going to have to put up $200. Shorty, of course, scratching, so pressed to be down. He jumped on the phone, get the $200, send it to a celly. So the celly like, all right, that's a back down. Granted, little dude that's trying to be down, he didn't put in for a transfer because he ain't really trying to stay at the jail that he at. Whole time he ends up getting a transfer. Now, when the Lord, when the celly that's finessing him, charging the $200, he probably got like three days left before he leaves. So he like, man, can I introduce myself to everybody? So the one that's finessing him, he like, no, nah, that's against the rules, man. You can't introduce yourself for the first 30 days. And when you get to your new compound, you cannot reveal yourself until a week is up. So now when I say reveal yourself, meaning he can't tell other gang members that he a part of this gang. So he think until a week is up. Now, granted, the celly that's doing this, all this is lies, nonsense. He got a whole bag full of nonsense paperwork that he think is real paperwork. And he's so green, he not even smart enough to know that you just got played. In, like, listen, so boom, y'all, he just transferred. He get to the new jail. When he get over there, he follow the so-called rules. He don't say nothing for a week now. Once the week up, because it's he, it, he he couldn't wait to tell somebody that he got made. So now when the week finally up, he looking around trying to see do he see any of the gang members that's on the unit with him. He see one, he goes up there and spit whatever he pulled to spit to him. This nonsense that the celly that gave to him that means absolutely nothing. So the little dude looking at him like, man, is you playing with me? Are you serious? He like, yeah, what's up, brother? Man, the dude just get to punish him. My, my. Fuck don't ever say that shit out your mouth, man. Keep that out your mouth. I'm talking about, man, other little gang member dudes that was on the unit. They get to running right there. They stomping them out. They beat. I'm talking about, man, they punish this dude. All for what? Absolutely nothing. Just wanting to be a part of something that costed you way more than you was willing to pay that you never had to get involved in, man. But with that being said, family, y'all know what it is. Let's...